Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Saturday morning. Posting my daily 8 a.m. videos. So today is a, a long one, kind of. I'll kind of explain my thoughts on each stock. If you've watched my previous videos, these are my big four growth stocks that I pick every year. And I kind of post them weekly, monthly, and then year to date. So I switch it up, at, you know, I'm gonna switch it up every year, but I'm gonna stay committed to whatever I picked, no matter what happens all year. So this is my uh, obviously month, uh, weekly, monthly, and year-to-date video. Before I get into it, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, really trying to get the 500 subs in May, so if you guys could hit that sub button if you're not already, much appreciated. If you are, share it with someone, or put it in a group or a forum or a chat, and be like, yo, just subscribe this guy. Much appreciated if you do that. So, week four, April grow stocks, month, month and year to date. First one, which is Tattoo Chef ticker is TTCS. If you, see, TTCF, if you guys have watched my previous videos, I've been super bullish on this, really adding to it. My second biggest position of my 16. It's one I really think is gonna take off in the next couple months, so. I have officially basically fully built out my position. I'm 95%. Wouldn't mind adding a little bit more if it dipped into like the high $15 per share range. But if it doesn't go that low or doesn't ever get there, I'm totally fine with what I have. So it uh, opened this week at $17.68 and it closed at $17.70 Friday. So we had a 0.1% loss month to date. It opened this month at 1944, obviously closed at 1770. So that's an 8.4% decline this month. And then year to date is 2353 and now 1770. So that's a 24% decline this year. I thought buying the stock anything under 25 when I ran my numbers was a good deal. Mind you, since then, they can't keep things on the shelves. They've started advertising and they struck a deal with Target stocking some products, only a small slither of their products in their stores. So when my evaluation was $25 a share, none of that was even factored in to my evaluation. So the fact that it's sitting at $17.77 when I thought $25 was a good deal is crazy. And it does show you the NASDAQ, well the NASDAQ this stock's in, right? The NASDAQ's almost at all time highs. Since the beginning of the year, the NASDAQ has significantly gone up, right? Well, the, usually when the NASDAQ goes up, an individual stock, if it's a high growth stock like this one, goes up with it. Well, this one did the polar opposite. Now you might ask why that is. Well, it's actually healthy because everything was overvalued. It was very hard to find good stocks at the beginning of this year. If you've watched my previous videos, like January and February, I don't think I made one video of buying a stock those six to seven weeks. So. That's a perfect example to, um, you know, don't always go off what the NASDAQ says if it's in the NASDAQ. So you gotta look at evaluations. That's why they're very important. So that that's literally, you know, an exact reason why. So even the NASDAQ's ran, well, that's 24% down year to date. So don't get, like, ex and, and another thing, NASDAQ's at all time high, stocks at 17 You should be like, oh, I'm gonna wait for the NASDAQ to drop. Like, that's not always how it works. So don't get caught up on that. Next one's Beyond Meat, tickers BYND, industry leaders, plant-based uh, meats, love this stock. Uh, it's, it, it's, you know, obviously the biggest market cap in their sector. Opened Monday at 132.12, closed at 131.68. So that one got hit about the same 0.3% decline. Month to date, this one went on a huge run when they struck that deal with Pepsi a couple, maybe a month ago at this point, or it's been a while. But anyways, month to date, it's cooled off a lot, uh, but it was a 131.38, went to 131.68. So in a month, it actually went up 0.2%. Year to date, so this is before the Pepsi deal and everything like that, it was at 125.57, and then obviously closed at 131.36. So year to date, it's up. And the reason this one's up is because it never really had that like hype train or never ran, and also they struck a deal with Pepsi. So that's huge. I mean, Pepsi is not gonna buy a company or work with a company, excuse me, that isn't the real deal. 
It's just, it's just how it is. Like fact, just like Target. Like when Target struck a deal with these guys, if they weren't serious players and they didn't believe them, like why would Target waste their shelf space on? They wouldn't. So it's sometimes that simple. Run evaluations, just put common sense together, let it ride. You know, obviously this is taking a hit, but if you really believe in the company long term, like what are you worried about? Like just let it go. Keep averaging costs down, like what I've been doing. I turned it into like my tenth biggest position to my second. So put my money where my mouth is, I guess. PayPal, they've done a lot of big things this year. Ticker is PYPL. They've uh, they obviously on Venmo. Venmo's going crazy. Online transactions. They're now accepting crypto. They're uh, partnering with Coinbase. Like they're it, just a beast. I actually own Coinbase too. Just bought it when it IPO. But uh, that would be another video. Anyways, uh, PayPal doing great things. They're gonna kill it. Definitely in the future. Uh, electronic transactions. So they opened this week at 266.72, closed at 262.29. So that one actually took a hit too, 1.6 down. Month to date, 24, 247.54 cents. So that one went up. And then year to date, it opened at 2331.92. And that's up 13 too, 13% 13 from year to date. So that's good. I mean, if you can get anywhere from like a 10 to a 15% return, on you know year to date or year over year that's good i mean i think you know this stock has never really gone crazy with in you know overvalued and they just keep putting out good news vemo crypto coinbase they're just moving towards the future so i love i love paypal it's it's a great stock let me see where i'm at here hold on one sec okay good all right so Dropbox, ticker DBX, cloud-based storage. This stock's gonna be huge. Obviously what happened last year really gave any kind of cloud-based storage businesses, a, it, it just boosted, you know, what, it, it's gonna excel their programs basically. So this stock has been very quiet all year. Well, for the past couple of months, which is fine. It's been floating around that 25 to $27 range. I think they're just trying to figure out where to evaluate it. I think under 25 is a deal, personally. Uh, it opened this week at 26.43 and it went to 25.70. So that's a 2.7% decline. Month to date, two, two, 27.37. So it went down 6.1%. So like, right, yeah, sitting at $27. It's been doing that for the past couple of months, but now that it's back at like a $25 range, like it's a good, buy if you aren't in it or if you're, you know, want to dabble in it. And then year to date, this is, I, I got in a little before this year, before I started making this channel, but uh, my cost base, I believe is, I think it's 19 or 18, but anyways, year to date opened at 22, 23. So I was saying it was a good buy being under 25 when I first made this channel. If you took my advice, you'd be up 15.6%. Uh, so again, that's another great, uh, return even year over year and we're only a quarter in. So yeah, so these are all great stocks. I mean, I actually am happy these two fell down um, month to date and year to date because it gives you like, like it's almost like a reset. Like if you liked it at the beginning of this year, like look, you're down 24%, you should be buying this right now. Uh, Beyond Meat, if you missed the boat or you saw all the hype and it was going nuts, you know, it's, um, you know, it, it, it's almost back down to the year to date levels before all that good news. So usually when you have massive good news in something, you know, the short guys, the day traders and all that, they'll do like little pump and dumps, run the stock up. Well, if you see it running, it's too late in my opinion to get in it. So now that those people are selling off, it, it, it's coming back to better levels to buy in. So that's what, so that's what it's doing right now. There's just been so much good news and just the feds printing money, you know, it's crazy. So. But like, am I worried? Like all these are great buys right now, really. Like, and that's my, you know, in a couple of months, I might say, no, that, you know, none of these are good buys right now. So thoughts on the market. I actually like that it's correcting. It's, it, it's healthy. Uh, I think the market is still gonna, yeah, I, I don't think it's gonna kangaroo. I really think it's gonna just slowly uh, fall back to normal valuations and then just slowly go up for years to come. That's my opinion. So I think that it's good that all these companies are, you know, correcting and falling back to normal valuations. Cause if they weren't, it's just going to fall like the faster it went up, the more it's going to come down if it, if it did that. 
So I'm glad that they're all coming back down the fair valuation price. Cash, so I always say how much cash I have you know, on the sideline. Right now I'm about like 22%. Uh, you know, last month I think I was sitting at 30 and then I was sitting at 28, 30 and I was like, ah, you know, I don't think that correction was the last one. I do think there is going to be a one more little like step leg down to just put everything at fair valuation across all sectors. So I don't like getting under 10% personally, unless like something happens like last year. So I'm just being very mindful of my spending. I know that gives you 12% of your portfolio, but just want to make it count. So I'm pretty happy with all my positions here. Uh, I would really like to actually add the PayPal more and then I'd like to add Dropbox more. If this goes down to like 22 or $20, I'll probably be buying this. If this one goes down to 240, I would consider buying this again too. So just want to, you know, build a healthy portfolio. Of, you know, I really want 10 stocks. That's really my, what my goal is. And I want to make them very big and then just ride them out. So that's all I got. If you like this video, I know it's a lot of stuff. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe below. Again, trying to get the 500 subs by May and I'll make a video tomorrow. Peace.